How does one omen smoke destroy a world champion team? FlyQuest head towards the B site and they activate. Fade Dog and Smoke go down. Dodo flies towards heaven but gets a little too overzealous. And with Flora and Alexis showing presence, Sonder is able to find a timing on a rotating Mel. Okay, let's slow it down. At the beginning of the round, Lacey threw this omen smoke towards Rubble and then all of FlyQuest rush B as we saw. But look at Shopify Rebellion. Sarah and Noya who were the A site anchors are being so cautious about a Rubble Lurk that even with a Fade Eye to clear and multiple taps with a spike on B, they are still wary about this rubble flank that even Floor comes out to check. It gives FlyQuest a timing to rush towards the C site, but Sonder is still lurking around. Looks like FlyQuest are going to be able to plant on that empty C site, but look at Sonder. Sonder's way behind them. Are they even going to clear? Shopify Rebellion, all of them are in C link. I think Floor knows. I think Floor is going to check, but Sonder... Sonder is going to get that headshot. Overheal going in as hell. But look at Lacey. Lacey's on that B site and Sonder's still in their spawn. They're getting absolutely pinched. It's only two players left for Shopify Rebellion. This might be it. This might be the match. This might be the end. Getting headshot. It's done. Starbound with that double. Okay, I want to talk about something. As you can see, it was my voice attempting to cast that last bit of the round. And that's because these matches weren't casted at all. This match gave FlyQuest the qualification to participate in the North American Main GC event and eventually have the chance to qualify qualify for the GC Championship in Berlin. So as you can see, this match was pretty important, but it also marked the fact that this is the first time that FlyQuest have beaten Shopify Rebellion. So I think this is also a big deal. But the fact that these matches had no casters, very little production, no analyst desk, no host, at least they had an observer, so shout out to that person. But it's not like we need VCT Champion S tier casters, but there are so many good A and even B tier casters that would have loved to cast this game. I would have even casted this game for a Riot Gun Buddy, but I'm not that good at speaking yet. If Riot wants game changers to be taken seriously, they gotta pay attention to the details.